Oh, City Battles, we'll talk. Welcome, my brother. Introduce yourself. Uh, my name is Cray Shando. Welcome, brother. Um, if you can just go in and let the people know how you got into music and how you got into battling. Um, I was a child of the Mark Grist versus Blizzard phenomenon. Um, I, obviously, like I've been into hip hop for a long time before that, but that was what sort of introduced me to Dope Flop, and I just sort of watched more and more of that. Um, and then later on, I joined the Dope Flop forum, and that introduced me to all the American battles and shit. So we're going to war with them as well. Yeah, that's basically it. All right, cool. Um, so. Like you, you're on the you're on the card for tomorrow, which is the KOT uh, the North East Disease card. Um, it's quite a good card, I believe. Like there's a lot of na lot of names on there that people aren't gonna know really. To be fair, but a lot of names that are coming through and that people are gonna get to know. And yeah, this that's is what part of these shows are going to be is to get people's faces out there so people know who the names are, man. Because some people don't get a lot of footage out. No, and um, I can tell you now that like um, there's some names that people need to watch out for on that card that are real quite up and coming right now. I mean, most of the people on that card, or at least most of the ones I've seen anyway, they're like really good. But the ones I'd say you need to watch out for in the future, JB. Uh, Tron uh, is is uh, is coming up quite well as well. That's the first two. Oh, and Technico has had a quite a run of good performances recently. Those three in particular, I think, are going to be really good uh, people in the future. Cool, cool. Which we're going to go through the card itself. So let's start at the bottom of the card. Kai Cambino versus Max. Yeah. Um, as I said in, the, in our prediction vlog, I haven't actually seen uh, Max's battles. I have seen some of Kai Cambino's. I do believe Kai is the more experienced of the two. So on that basis, I give it to Kai, but it could go either way. Alright. Okay. Uh, Manikai versus Tron? Uh, I've seen Manikai's grime clashes, and he's really sort of aggressive, and he's really good at that. Um, Tron has yet to have a sort of a, a really good performance but we know that he has one in him because what for one reason or another he hasn't been prepared on most of the occasions he's turned up but I reckon uh, if he does properly turn up for this then I think Tron might actually have this because Tron can be quite a good writer when he wants to be. Alright, then obviously on the card it's your back, yourself and yeah. JTC versus Chapo and Live Lands. What, what, yeah. what, can, what can the people expect for this man? Um. We, uh, well, me and Jack's rounds are less of um, uh, three rounds of battle rap and more just a war dub. Um, because not only do we fire shots at everyone in the Swed Nation crew that Chapo and Live lands, uh, do we also fire shots at basically every battle rapper that has ever existed, essentially. Oh, um, to be honest, we are quite confident for this. We, we know we could have got bigger and better opponents than Chapo and Lanz. We took them because Bowski pretty much asked for a favour and told us we were going to get big matchups at a future North event. So that's what we're doing this for. Either way, I think we're going to have a pretty easy win here. Alright, okay. Technico versus JB. Uh, this is going to be quite a, 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 quite a good one. I'm quite looking forward to this one. Um, Technico definitely sort of uh, more presence, more delivery, um, better sort of performance value, really. But JB, I'd say, is probably the better writer. So it's going to be one of them battles. Uh, I'm looking forward to that one. Okay. EMC versus Jeffers. Ooh. Um, uh, yeah, I thought uh, it's it's EMC versus Dean now because Jeff has had to. Oh, right. Okay. Okay. Uh, um, Dean. Dean has potential and he's hungry, but I think EMC is going to win. Okay. I just think EMC has been very good recently. All right. Let me move on to the, the battle star versus bar. Um, but uh, predicting Bard's battles is a weird one sometimes because he has an extremely distinctive style and it's really whether you sort of get it or whether you like it or not. I quite like it these days, so I think I'm going to end up giving this one to Bard, possibly. But, you know, I think maybe some people will be thinking that Balski's won it. They both do very different things. I think I'm going to prefer Bard, but yeah, that was just going to be entertaining. 
It's probably going to be very funny to watch as well. Co-main event, Pete Soldier versus Jay Short. Uh, I don't know. I think Jay Short probably just through being descriptive and like, because he's again, he's another one of these people that's on a killing streak right now. Okay, main event, O'Shea versus Joe Costello. I am so gutted. I can't um, watch this myself. Yeah. Uh, <sighs> O'Shea, maybe he's probably not going to prepare too hard for this battle because he's got Luna later and he's just had a run of battles. But uh, uh, yeah, I think maybe uh, if Joker Star. Joker Star might take it. I just think that one's going to be quite good. Whatever yeah, happens, it's, really. It's a good battle to watch. That. I think it's, what this card is definitely about, man. It's getting. It's it's got a good few top matches, and then it's got the next uh, yeah. nice crowd coming through. So yeah, it's definitely. A it's a good scene. So what's what's next for Crescendo, bro? After this, after this. Well, uh, what's in the pipeline that you can talk about? Well, um, as I said earlier, like I was hoping to try and get a fairly big match up at a North event, like I was speaking to Pauski about that, I'll also be speaking about to him about that tomorrow. Um, I'm going to battle JB at some point. I did get offered JB for an event at the start of May in London, but um, I'm too, I've got exams and essays due in around that time. I had to actually turn down a battle on Don't Flop against 2k at their Liverpool event because uh, they suddenly hit me with a deadline like the day after uh, gave me that battle and uh, it was impossible by then. I was already snowed under with work anyway and it was going to be a tight squeeze for me to get that properly prepared and then when they hit me with another essay that was it. I was just like I, 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 can't, I can't. I spent a day trying to write the entire battle in one go and just thought I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have a breakdown if I try and do all this so far. I'll do it. Uh, again, I'm up for. I would still battle 2K, and I'm not fussy as, well as, as far as it goes with Dope Flop about who I'll battle. I'll battle anyone they put in front of me, really. But yeah, um, I'm still. I had a good round written for 2K, so I would like to battle him at some point. Cool. cool. Anyone that you want to go out there on the edge and say that you actually want to battle, like start putting these names in people's heads? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I had a. I put a thing on the. King of the Ronalds forum um, about people that I uh, who who people want to see me against, and I did a similar thing with the Dope Flop one a while back. Um, I'm not fussy about who I battle on Dope Flop, but certainly on King of the Ronalds. Um, uh, as I said before, I'd like uh, a big matchup. The word Bowski has been bandied around quite a bit by Hulk. I'd quite like to battle him. And aspirationally, at some point, maybe further off in the future, uh, I wouldn't mind battling Moss Prob, and I would maybe even like to try and work my way up to battling O'Shea at some point. Nice. Those are. Nice. Um, let's, let's, let's put it out there, man. At least, at least these people know you're coming from, so they're going to be watching you. Oh, oh yeah. Watching well, one thing I definitely want to do at some point is try and go for the King of the Ronalds title. Like, I'd love to carve my way up after that, and I reckon I could do it. Like I uh, just need these chances against some, some both some big names and some good names. Like having battles with people like JB or having battles with people like whoever else, Bowski or whatever. Any anything, no matter whether they're a big name or a small name. It's, if it's a good battle, I can raise my stock like that. But I would definitely like to be able to do that. And at the same time, like in the summer, expect a lot from me in the summer because, like, if I can just get this job sorted for uh, September, then I should uh, be able to battle quite a lot in the summer. Uh, so I'd like to do quite a lot of Dope Flop and King of the Ronalds stuff in the summer. Like, I could probably spend quite a lot of time devoted to uh, writing bars and I'd definitely be up for anything that anyone offers me there. I just want to get a bit of momentum going. Yeah. All right, cool, man. So where, 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 is, where is everything crescendo? Is Twitter, we've got obviously the Twitter. At crescendo. Yeah. What, where else can we find crescendo, I guess? I'd say um, I'd say main, mainly uh, just the Twitter. I mean, like I've said before, um, and a couple of places, uh, I like to keep my Facebook sort of for people that I know and that I talk to. Uh, there are a lot of battlers and battle fans on there. If I've met you, if I come and talk to you, but I do get added by a lot of random people sometimes, and it's like, can you just follow me on Twitter and be done with it? Really, like I. 
uh, I'd like to try and keep control of what who who's on there and like keep track of who I know so that when I'm browsing through Facebook, I instantly know who everyone I'm looking at is. Um, but yeah, um, I mean, obviously, I'm uh, I'm on the Dopeflop forum, or at least I am, as long as that place exists. It's very quiet these days, and you know, I'm not sure how much longer it's got left. But um, <laughs> Yeah, that's the thing. I um, I am in Viewpoint, but I stopped all the notifications from it because they were very annoying. So I um, I, I don't really look at it anymore. I, um, for all I know, they're all talking shit about me on there, and I've got absolutely no idea. <laughs> okay, then, bro. Well, yeah. Unless there's anything else that you want to go in on. Well, uh, I don't know. I mean, there's um, there's. The thing this is just a weird thing with Battle Rapper, I guess, like uh, with the way it's all sort of online. Because one thing I've found, both on the side of being a fan and being a battler, is sort of like the weird dynamic between fans and battlers, and how it all produces these weird sorts of effects. Because battlers, you to to fans like battlers, you sort of watch them online or doing all these performances and things. And it's almost like they're celebrities, except no one treats battlers like celebrities. Everyone knows they're not. And because they're so much more accessible than a celebrity with like an agent and with like a, an image to sort of kind of keep away, like there's so much more interaction, which is why you see a lot of weird things and a lot of a lot more sort of arguments between battlers and fans and the relationship being very weird and complicated. Um, like I um I was thinking about doing a sort of blog post about that at some point, but um, I'm too lazy. Yeah, here's, um, here's, here's your point. But yeah, that's this it was just. Thing. This is what we were talking about. This is, just do your thing. Just yeah. do it now. That's 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 the point about it. Right? No, I just thought it was just a point I wanted to make because you were talking about sort of um, where to find uh, battlers and shit on the internet and that. Like it's um. It's been weird being on both sides. You know that I've got a verse tracker now, and they've taken a really terrible fucking picture of me for the verse tracker. It's a really claustrophobic close-up on my face you know, doing this. You know, you know if you, you know if you at them and send them a picture, they change it for you, though, bro. <laughs> no, 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 real, real, real talk, bro. Like seriously, verse tracker are the coolest guys, really, like to deal with. So, like, I might. OC, like to be fair, OC Beer up as one of their sponsored sort of like leagues as such. If you go literally go on first tracker and look down there, OCB's up there, man. Because like I fully back these guys because they're, they're they're awesome. Like they're, I want me to send them one of my battles then that's got more views than most of the ones they have from me then. Yeah, so yeah, like if you've if you've no, but if you've got if you've got a battle list that they they're missing battles on, just literally send them the links, bro, and they'll have it all. It's that, it's that it's that easy like seriously that, that they want it to be up to date as possible like they want it like i'm gonna send them r2 on two i've got jack i've got jack with me here but yeah they've got one of my battles on there so i'm gonna send them all with them yeah 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 do it, yeah. Like, yeah seriously just just like literally like you can add you can add them on facebook they've got facebook but with its first tracker and they've got twitter first tracker like because you're going to be sending them a lot of shit it's better to add their facebook to be fair fam because the amount of shit, or like yeah. the amount of shit you're gonna send them by the sound of it, but like other people oh, no, are watching this. Just... I'm only probably gonna send them like uh, a Twitter and um, one battle because there's only really one battle that they haven't got from me that I kind of want on there. The others I can sort of shit <laughs> do without. But like, yeah. Um... <laughs> you you you, you, re you realize now I'm gonna have to make them go into all of it, so it's all <laughs> yes. Go on, fine. <laughs> Gold mine. <laughs> but no, bro, this has been real talk. It's been a pleasure. Yeah, sir. Pleasure's me. And we are out.